29th of June 2015 Dhamma at Nam Dhamma Hall in Hanoi I have been teaching for over 13 years since I became a monk I teach at the monastery at home at hospital and also in meditation center. When I start my first teaching, I have not my own monastery or meditation center. I started with one meditator in my first teaching. My teaching is about explaining meditation, how to meditate. And besides, my teaching is guided meditation. Therefore, who listen to my teaching has to meditate while they are listening. Most of the people in Yama are not meditators. That's why most of them know little about meditation. They don't understand my teaching. That's why I let them to meditate while they are listening. Only by listening to my teaching, it will be difficult to understand about the meditation practice. Only when they, they practice at the same time, they can understand more. I have been doing like this for over 13 years. Teaching like this is good for me and also listening and practicing as I guide is also good for the follower. I will teach to the meditator and also to the patients, to the old age, to the children, to the workers and also businessmen, sometimes to the teachers and doctors. If foreigners visit to my center, I will teach them. I'm teaching for good deeds, not for money, not for food, not for popularity. My wish is I want to do good deeds with anyone who meet with me. They may not want to meditate or not. They may not want to listen listen to my teaching or not. I will teach them a few. My teaching is pratika. You have to learn by practice. Because in Yama, there are a lot of Dhamma books and Dhamma talks. Therefore, many people have theoretical knowledge about Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha. They need practical knowledge. Therefore, by teaching and guiding to meditate, they can use their life to do good deeds. To keep preset to meditate Samatha and Vipassana, we have to use our life, our body and mind. We cannot do with the money we have, the money and the belonging we have. We can use money and belongings to make donation. By doing like this, day after day, months after months, year after years, teaching about guided meditation and guided meditation became my own job. From 2012, I started meditation retreat, one after another. Doing meditation retreat also became my own job. From 2007, I started my first meditation center and then I continues establishing meditation center one after another. Therefore, making new meditation center became my own job. All the Baba meditation center are caused by doing good deeds continuously. I have to teach now because I have been teaching in the past I will also teach tomorrow, next month, next year, because I have been teaching guided meditation. So meditation is necessary 
for all the people around the world. If they don't meditate, they cannot understand. I'm trying to solve that problem by teaching guided meditation to anyone, anytime, anywhere, by using any method. Doing good deeds and meditation all the time give me food, medicine, and shelter. Not only for the body, but also for the mind. Therefore, for me, no need to think about food, medicine, place, and money. I need to think about doing good deeds and meditation. You can also use your life, body, and mind to do good deeds and meditation. In this way, you will also understand about the truth. No need to worry about food, medicine, shelter, and money. Now, uh, my question is, uh, um, uh, now I start to, uh, about to meditate. So, uh, how should I start and where should I start? We should meditate at least one hour a day in the beginning. And if we have a chance, we can also go to the meditation retreat. Then maybe five days, seven days, ten days. Daily meditation is essential. We must be patient to meditate every day, at least one hour. Besides, we should take meditation retreats two or three times a year. We should be patient to take meditation retreats regularly. This is the for the lowest level. If we can meditate at least two hours daily. If we can go to the meditation retreat every month, it is better. If we have a chance, we should try to be monks or nuns in order to do good deeds freely. Doing good deeds and meditation as a lay person is not free. But if we cannot abandon, the life of lay people. We should start from daily meditation and meditation retreat. When we sit meditation, we should be able to follow these four steps. The first step is to abandon all our physical, verbal, and mental action while we are sitting meditation. To abandon the action means not doing nothing. When we sit, we should not sit as we like or we can or we understand. We should not meditate for oneself or for I. Sitting as we like is sitting for, for us. Sitting meditation as we understand is also we meditate by relying on our own intelligence. We use our intelligence or understanding to meditate. That is not the right way. For the old meditators, they may meditate as they used to. It is also relying on their own ability. When we meditate, we should rely on Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha. We have to listen to the teaching of Buddha or we have to study Buddhist literature. This is doing good deeds. We should rely on keeping precepts, practicing Samatha and Vipassana meditation. So we must believe the practice of meditation. We must believe in our meditation master. If we are meditating, as we like, which means we are relying on ourselves. That is wrong. Practicing as we like, we understand and we used to are uh, relying on us, not on Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha. We should try to meditate. Besides, we should try to correct the mistake of the meditators. 
we should understand that keeping precept and meditation are real good action. Keeping precept and with this right understanding, we must rely on our own practice of keeping precept and meditation. Besides, we should understand that if all good deeds have been done by many, many Buddha and his followers, they became Buddha and Sangha because they can practice as it is necessary to practice. So also, we should abandon, rely on our own wish, intelligence and habit in order to follow the right way or middle way, which is practicing as it should do. If we cannot do good deeds and meditation all the time, we must rely on ourselves and our belongings. Our life and belongings are, are not real, reliable. Therefore, doing as we like, as we can, as we understand is not the right action for the normal people. When we meditate, we should rely on Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha. We must rely on the present action of Siddhi meditation and we, we should rely on our meditation master. We should try to understand and practice as our master when to do us. But for most of the people, we have strong attachment to rely on ourselves, our habits and our intelligence. Therefore, when we are sitting meditation, we should try not to practice as we like, we understand and we used to. We must be able to meditate daily and we must also be able to fight against our own desire, habits and intelligence. We can do like this because we are human.